Hello, welcome back to Blender Session Learning. In this episode, I want to share this node setup uh, using Geometry Nodes in Blender. So it's basically, there is a new node in Geometry Nodes. It's called uh, Points. Okay, it's, a, it's really simple. Actually, you, you don't need these nodes to create this setup. I just happened to okay discover this way to create uh, kind of like a wiggly worms. Um, I thought this is kind of interesting, um, so I will just gonna share the setup. But but basically the the point is doing the job. Um, in summary, what's happening here is just actually a circle that's being rotated with the noise. Uh, it goes through the noise, but the because we know it's already circle and looping, we can kind of have this uh, kind of like unlimited motions infinite motions okay uh, before i break down this setup i just want to show you so you start with the default cube as usual and then you create geometry nodes <clears throat> and we gonna switch from ev to cycles and we have these points okay before this uh, in the past, what we need to do is just we, we create like a mesh line or for example, and then set the position and we replace the positions using random value like that's, uh, you know, like you just plug this into the position. It's going to replace the, the mesh line and we have the counts to control the number of points, right? In the past, we actually do this but now we can actually just use this, this points so by default we have only one single points like points cloud that you can render using cycles you can control the radius okay and you can plug in random value and this random value random vector value will correspond to the number of counts that we specify here so if we say okay create 100 points with the radius of 0 0.2 we can actually render this out and these points will also correspond with the with the material so let me save this very quickly this is point study if you set material and then you create, a sh you switch to the shader editor, and then you specify the geometry point point info. We have position, radius, random. We can actually set it up in the shader. So if we use something like hue value, we plug in the random hue, and we specify a color here. When we render this out, the points will have random color something to something you can something you can use okay so we have random points now let's get back to geometry nodes so we can control the number of points here let's say 100 the radius you can use of course random value plug into the radius and this is just points. It is actually really, really fast. <clears throat> so you can have like a 1000 points. It's just gonna render. Each one of them can have different <clears throat> radius. And it's already working. Okay, that's more obvious. That's basically points, right? If you want to, for example, you have like a circle mesh circle okay you want to use the position of this circle you need to use something like transfer or maybe capture i think in this case we just use transfer <clears throat> so we have mesh circle we grab this as a source we want to grab the position of this guy based on the index so we can say okay grab the position of this mesh circle and then use this as the position for our points there so even though we have like 
we have 32 points here we have 1000 points let's reduce this to 100 or actually make the circle like 100 points but we only have like 32 so by doing this we can now play around with the index something like this okay so we are actually transferring the index now uh, we are offsetting the index that's the more correct term so we have a circle with 100 points but we only have 32 points and then we transfer the attributes uh, this way so yeah this is the beginning of uh, our creations the the wiggly worms that we saw earlier in this case I'm actually using circle I don't need to use circle but uh, yeah this is curved circle this seems to work as well the same method we have this circle that goes into the points positions and we randomize the radius um, and I'm using noise as the offset while I am actually animating the W and I'm rotating the circle itself so I'm using vector rotate on the position of the circle so it's actually actually like wiggling but since it's already circle and it's, it's rotating on its spot it is actually doing like a loop um, and then I'm using instance on points here so to make it like a real object so if we get back to our point study so currently this guy is just like a circle um, let me try okay if we instance on points so based on that point we, we use arcosphere on the instance we're gonna get this somehow the the radius doesn't go does not transfer into the scale somehow I want that so I will also transfer the attributes of the radius so this is the source this is the attributes and I want to transfer it using the index this goes into the scale now this guy is working so based on this radius ret uh, let's reduce the number of points of the circle so we still have this working we can offset the circle okay this seems to be working and we can rotate the instance this will render okay we lost that uh, points render let's turn these points into volume anyway and <clears throat> volume into mesh you might notice it looks slightly disconnected each one of them you can realize instances <clears throat> and now the volume is kind of connected connected together although once again we lost the radius it's a it's a really interesting let's see somewhere along the lines the, the radius seems to be missing oh no it's still still there can I I can move the, the index okay what did I miss the noise the noise is used to offset the circle let's normalize the noise and what I did was to simply use the position of the circle and then 
do a vector rotate. Yeah, so it's now, now it's wiggling. In the other examples, however, I think I did something different. Yeah, we still have that ability to to offset along the lines and the, the noise is happening there's probably something something else that i i forgot to mention but i will share the the notes set up anyway so what i want what i really want is to have like a the worms kind of traveling around in the loop maybe for that to happen we need to have the same number of points. Oh well, maybe not exactly, not exactly what I want. But we can have like a really big number on the circle, and then we have fifty points, and then we want. We just transfer the points so the worm is kind of moving around moving along the circle kind of want to have it looping here but it's not working at the moment at least it's kind of moving around okay so anyway uh realize instance okay we can have this on and off With realize instances, the worms will actually join together. So that's a yeah, really interesting quick look into the new points nodes. So this one is now becoming like a, like the beginning for you know, like you can use point cloud, you can assign random position or just transfer position from any other mesh and just assign radius and how many points you want you just specify it okay and we have these squiggly worms anyway so hopefully this is useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye